Is atheism a religion? Well, no, of course not. You only have to look at the definition of the word to see that, but the religious seem incapable of getting any rational facts through their heads, mostly because I don't think they're using their heads for much beyond holding their hats up. So, uh, let's go see what Andy Bannister has to say on the subject, because, uh, you know, Andy couldn't possibly be dumb enough to say that atheism is a religion, could he? It's been a while since we've looked in on Andy Bannister, and, uh, sorry to say, he really hasn't gotten any smarter. Maybe dumber, if that's at all possible. I don't know. You tell me. Today, he's going to try to explain that atheism is a religion by both proving that A, he has no clue what the hell atheism is, or what a religion is, or much of anything else, or B, that there's really nothing going on between his ears. And I don't think that'll be a surprise to anybody who's been with the channel for very long, but maybe we can educate the newcomers. These morons are really, really pathetic, and it's time we stop pretending otherwise. So, uh, strap in and let's get started. often ask me, Andy, why do you keep calling atheism a religion? It's because Andy here is a moron, as the rest of this video will certainly show. It's also why it's so important that we keep explaining why con men like Andy do what they do. See, this isn't a remotely honest question on his part to begin with. Nothing that ever comes out of the mouths of apologists is really honest. It is designed to elicit a specific emotional response from their marks, to make those that already believe feel self-satisfied that the things that they already believe must be true for entirely emotional reasons. That way, they feel obligated to give money to the con men, and the cycle begins anew. And it's why Andy is on the Ravi Zacharias channel here, because Zacharias was a con man too, who stole people's money so he could spend it beating up massage therapists and taking naked pictures of women around the world. So, now that we understand why he's doing it, and they're all doing it for the exact same reason if you notice, let's go look at how full of crap Andy actually is. Isn't atheism just a lack of belief in God? It's not a religion. Well, I'm afraid that's wrong. That actually the more you look at atheism, the more you realize it's far more than just a lack of a belief in God. Let me show you why. So, let me show you why Andy is a lying asshat. Because words actually have meanings, so let's go look at the definition of the terms that he's using. A religion is the belief in and worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal god or gods. This proves that it is literally impossible for atheism to be a religion, no matter what he says next. Of course, he doesn't really care about any of that, because this is all just a giant scam, intended to elicit money from the emotionally gullible, which is why none of these videos are being made for atheists. In fact, they all appear on channels specifically designed to appeal to the idiotically faithful. That makes no sense whatsoever if you're actually trying to present information to the non-believers. If atheism simply meant the absence of belief in God, number one, the first problem is it would have some very peculiar entailments. It would mean that uh, rocks, small kittens, uh, rubber chickens, Richard Dawkins' left foot are all atheists, because all of those things lack a belief in God. And in the strictest sense, that might be true. Did you actually have a point there, Andy, or are you just making a fool out of yourself? It's called default atheism. All babies are default atheists, too, because absolutely nobody pops out of the womb with imaginary friends. Now, I know he's trying to make fun of us, again, because this isn't intended for the non-religious, but all he's really doing is making himself look like a complete idiot. 
I'm going to make a prediction right now that he won't actually go anywhere with this line of uh, reasoning because it doesn't actually mean anything. Nothing that comes out of Andy's empty head actually means anything from what we can see. That's a very counterintuitive conclusion, and it strongly suggests that atheism is far more than just the absence of a belief in God. That can't be the definition. Why not? See, he's trying to get to an unsupported claim here, and therefore, he's just trotting out a straw man, because if he actually left it at that, he'd have nothing that would make his idiot parishioners feel good. And that's what this is all about. Now, we could take it a step farther here and argue that atheism, at least in humans, is restricted to people who actually have the capacity to evaluate the claims of gods and are not convinced that they actually hold any merit. And I'm fine with that too if you want to go that way. Of course, Andy is going to trot out a lot of other empty claims because he's trying to get to the conclusion that cons people out of their hard-earned money and you can't quite get there with, well, atheists just don't believe our claims. So, uh, let's watch. A second problem with the idea that atheism is merely the lack of belief in God is that if that were the case, how could it form part of someone's core identity? Who says that it does? This is another instance of a theist looking at the world around them and blindly assuming that everybody's just like they are. No, Andy, we're a hell of a lot smarter than you. Atheism isn't a part of my core identity. In fact, if you idiots would just go away, I would never think about atheism ever again. It is entirely irrelevant, except when dealing with dumb people like the religious. I don't believe in your silly, unsupported gods, but I still have to deal with imbeciles like you, and that's kind of a problem, that they seem incapable of comprehending. And, uh, that's kind of sad, isn't it? You see, I don't believe in Father Christmas. I don't believe in the Tooth Fairy. But I don't go around introducing myself to people as an A-Tooth Fairian. That's not what you'll find on my Twitter profile. See? What did I tell you? Andy is absurdly predictable. They all are. I'm sure if you had people running around believing in, I don't know, leprechauns, for instance, if they had a leprechaun church on every street corner and insisted that people vote in defense of their leprechaun beliefs, if people came banging on your door on St. Patrick's Day trying to share the good news of leprechaunism, you'd absolutely be doing that, assuming that you weren't stupid enough to fall for the completely unsupported, nonsensical beliefs that they were pushing. We do it only because we're sick and tired of people like you, Andy. If you want to know why atheists openly identify that way, it's to differentiate ourselves from the brain-dead faith monkeys like you. So, uh, go away and leave us alone. Then, we won't bother. I regularly meet people who introduce themselves to me as I am an atheist. It forms their core identity. Well, if atheism can form part of someone's identity, it is clearly more than a lack of belief in God. Nope. It's a matter of self-defense against idiots like you. We think you're crazy, and not only crazy, but often downright dangerous. You push ridiculous beliefs. You try to get your nonsense enshrined in law. You've got the biggest financial scam in the history of mankind going, and then you wonder why we don't like you. Well, look in the mirror, Randy. You're a frickin' idiot. That's also demonstrated by my third piece of evidence, and it's that atheists and secularists are now starting churches. Yeah, they really are. A few years ago in London, England, a group of atheists came together, took over a deconsecrated church in London, and they started something called the Sunday Assembly. They meet together on Sunday mornings, they sing secular songs, they listen to inspirational talks about science, they formed an atheist church. Now, while I think the whole idea is completely stupid, and the overwhelming majority of atheists certainly don't take part in anything like that, you see Andy here cherry-picking an absurd minority activity and pretending that we all do it. Because Andy's a jackass. And that's like saying that because some Roman Catholic priests molest children, somehow that means that all Christians do it. If we're a religion, then Andy 
is a pedophile. Prove me wrong. And other such atheist churches are springing up in major cities around the world. So atheism looks like a religion. It is behaving like a belief system. It has churches, it has creeds, it has communities, it has gurus. It really is a religion, a belief system. Yeah, not true. Now, if you actually go and look at some of these atheist so-called churches, they're just community get-togethers, and there's nothing at all wrong with that. Again, it isn't something that I'd ever do myself, because I have no reason to, but a lot of people who have been indoctrinated into religion over the years, they get attached to a lot of the mechanisms of religion, even after they leave the religion itself. And that's mostly a matter of child abuse that religion perpetrates on innocent children, so I'm not really going to get too upset. Because that sounds an awful lot like a uh, you problem there, Andy, doesn't it? I don't have any need for anything like that. Indeed, very few people ever indulge, but Andy's being dishonest here, as if that's any surprise. Now, I say that not to belittle my atheist friends, but just to encourage them to kind of wake up and smell the coffee. Andy, let's be really honest here. You have no atheist friends at all. Hell, I don't even know if you have any friends because you're kind of a dick. You've got co-conspirators, but that's about it. Nobody actually likes you, Andy. Everybody thinks you're kind of a jerk. This is exactly why Andy and people like him don't come and talk to us. Because we just laugh our asses off at his stupidity. None of this garbage is remotely true. He's just playing to the expectations of his paying audience just before he passes around the collection plate. Because this is ultimately all about money. It always is. That's also why the comments in his video are turned off. Because he knows that actual atheists, people who are definitely not Andy's friends, would come by and expose this nonsense in an instant. And he can't have that, can he? You see, if atheism is a belief system, there are some entailments that follow. And one of the biggest ones is this. If atheism is a religion or a belief system, you can't simply assume it. You have to give reasons for it. You have to give evidence. Welcome to Shifting the Burden of Proof 101. Because that's ultimately what a lot of this is all about, after all. Invent a farcical claim that atheism is a religion so that they can hide from their own responsibility to back up their own beliefs. The religious are pulling this crap all the time. Again, they're not talking to us. They're talking to each other about us because that makes them happy. It's just inventing absurd straw men so that they can convince their gullible sycophants that what they've been saying all along has been right even though it's not. Because if you're not willing to do that, you fall foul of an aphorism once coined by the late new atheist writer himself, Christopher Hitchens, who in his book God is Not Great wrote these words, that which can be asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. That applies to Christianity, but my word, does it apply to atheism too? I would suggest that my atheist friends take his advice. Then, by all means, Andy, point out where we are asserting any of that. Go ahead. Andy won't because he's terrified of us. They all are. It's why they refuse to have an honest, unrestricted, back-and-forth conversation with atheists because we'll just make them look like the imbeciles that they are. Andy wouldn't know what to do with himself if we stripped him of his script and his fawning audience and made him actually talk to real people. I think he just wet himself. They all would because they don't have credible positions. It's why they don't want to hear from us at all. It's why they shut off their comments. They just want to tell stories about what we're supposedly really like, even though it's clear they haven't got a single clue because they've never actually talked to us. We're just boogeymen that they've conjured up in their own minds, and unfortunately for them, we're winning. Christianity is dying. They're being revealed as the con men that they actually are. Fewer people are falling for it anymore, and they don't know what to do with themselves. They're trying to steal as much as they can from the wide-eyed suckers before that well dries up, and that day is coming sooner rather than later. 
I'm thinking that's why there's such a push on the childish religious paranoia of late. We're probably in the last generation or two where there are more than a handful of people who are going to take any of this crap seriously. These people will have to get actual jobs, and none of them have any actual useful skills. Professional BS artist, it's not really much of a talent, yet it's all these people have, isn't it? So, I encourage everyone to stop letting this crap slip by. Point and laugh. Call them out on it. Stop giving them any respect whatsoever, because they haven't earned any of it. The only thing they've earned is our derision. These people are assholes. And I think we've had enough of religious assholes, don't you?